And the third and final moment I want to talk about that really convinced me about the power of Europe, the power of science and innovation to change our lives, happened in Malta a couple of years ago. I was talking in a panel discussion, and I met a, a man called Youssef Youssef. And he's a great innovator. He created a company called LG Sonic, and he's a fascinating guy. He, he said to himself, I have to help on this treatment of the water. You know, you do a lot of chemicals to, uh, when you take the algae from the water, so when you're producing water. And he said, you know, there's too many chemicals. I'm going to find a new way. And so you start working with the ultrasonic frequencies. And so the ultrasound was able to basically replace the chemicals and get rid of the algae. And then you have drinkable water. And um, when I met him, it was really interesting because he was telling about Europe. He was telling about the fact that when he started, there was two people in his company. And it was thanks to the European funding on FP7 that his company went from two people to 20 people. Now they sell f in 52 countries. They have all won eight innovation prizes. And Youssef told me about that European funding. Without that European funding, it would not be possible. So he said to me, like Ben Feringa, he said, you know, only Europe believed me. But like Tumo, there was another part of the story. In Malta, I asked Youssef about his background and um, how he had gotten to where he was. And he told me that uh, he came to Europe from Syria as a refugee. He was 13 years old. He came alone with his mother, brother and sister. And for seven years, they lived in a refugee camp, huddled in just two rooms. And he said that he was always afraid he was always afraid that he would be sent back. It's difficult to stay motivated, he said, to build a future when you don't know. You're not sure that your future will be in Europe. However, his mother kept on pushing him to finish his education and follow his dreams. And so he did. He finished his education at Leiden University. He developed ideas. He created this company. And he just told me that he just hired someone from Syria and someone from Eritrea here in Belgium. So imagine in a space of few years, Youssef could match his determination and passion with Europe and turn his life around. He told me about the European dream. And uh, Youssef is there. Youssef. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm very moved uh, with the story of Youssef um, because it's so unique.